Dealing with a fear-driven failure Failure driven by fear is one of the most common reasons why people fail to act on their goals or give up prematurely. There are a few different causes of fear, so let's discuss them one by one colon one. Fear of the unknown as strange as it sounds, people unconsciously often want to fail. They subconsciously lie by the motto that a known devil is better than an unknown angel. It's easier to let the things stay as they are even if you're not entirely happy with them than to be bold and venture out, seeking greener pastures. A good example of failing due to the fear of the unknown is sticking to your current day job even when you absolutely hate it. Obviously, it isn't sensible to quit without a solid plan. The failure lies in the fact that even though you hate your job, you do nothing to change it because you're afraid of the unknown. If you set for yourself a life-changing goal, this means that you need to leave your safe bubble and travel to unknown, potentially dangerous places. It's scary so it's no wonder that many people sabotage their efforts to avoid this fear. The only solution to overcome this behavior is to slowly, but consistently stretch your comfort zone and resist the temptation to default to security. While a need for safety is a basic human need we all share, too much of it doesn't go hand in hand with growth. If you want to take your life to the next level, you'll have to sacrifice some of that security for growth. The first time I climbed a 100 feet high cliff, 30 meters, I was extremely scared. When I stood exposed on the rock face, with the wind blowing at me strongly and surrounded by open space in all directions, I felt the temptation to ask my valet to lower me. It would be nice to touch the ground again and feel safe, but I wouldn't have learned anything that way. I pushed ahead, overcame me fear and completed the route. After so many scary experiences, I still feel queasy or even get panicky at teams. If you keep challenging yourself, those feelings will never leave you. You just learn to push through them more effectively. And don't misunderstand me, there's nothing glorious in being frightened. When I'm scared, I'm scared. I wonder why I'm yet again doing such a thing to myself. You'll absolutely hate the feeling when experiencing it, but you'll look at it with great fondness and gratitude later on when you realize how much it has helped you grow. Remember that in the end the only way to deal with the fear of the unknown is to embrace the situation as a learning opportunity even if it's initially disconcerting. Point 2. Fear of rejection Another type of fear-driven failure that keeps you stuck in the same circumstances even if you'd love to change them is failure due to the fear of rejection. A common manifestation of this type of failure is not approaching a person you find attractive simply because you're afraid they'll reject you. Working in sales also requires you to overcome the fear of rejection. If you don't overcome it, you'll have lackluster, if any, results. From a logical standpoint, as uncomfortable as a rejection can be, choosing to not approach an attractive person or try to make a sale is a guaranteed failure. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. Unfortunately, in a situation where you face a possible rejection, following the logical thought process is challenging. I know what I'm talking about, to battle my extreme shyness, I approached 50 attractive women in the street over a span of three months. I wasn't looking for any specific outcome other than to overcome my paralyzing fear and approach them. I didn't want to create an awkward situation or get rejected, so at first I found it extremely difficult to act. In the end, my fears were unfounded. Most women didn't mind that I approached them, in fact, many were eager to talk with me, and I discovered that being rejected by a great majority of them wasn't such a big deal. In the end exposing myself to repeated rejections eradicated shyness from my life. Learning how to deal with rejection can change your life, too. Just like with fear of the unknown, you immunize yourself against rejection through consistent desensitization. Forget about the end goal you're trying to achieve, making a sale, setting UPA date, and aim for rejection. If your ultimate goal is to get rejected, then if you get rejected, you aren't losing anything. After all, that's what you were seeking. If you don't get rejected, though good for you. You acted despite your fear and programmed your mind that facing fears head on is worth it. A crucial aspect in overcoming the fear of rejection is to not let the emotions cloud your judgment. Whenever you're in a situation that causes you to withdraw because of a possible rejection, don't give yourself even a second to think about it. For instance, 
if you see an attractive person standing by themselves in a shopping mall and you'd like to talk with them, go and talk to them right away. The longer you hesitate, the less likely you'll be to act. Best selling author Tim Ferriss writes in his book The 4 Hour Work Week that a person's success in life can usually be measured by the number of uncomfortable conversations he or she is willing to have. 20 My personal experience confirms that dealing with the fear of rejection isn't optional, it's crucial to achieve most goals.